Hey folks, it is blog post 5 and video 5 and I am going to share a very simple little technique that I learned about how to focus. Focus and non-stop commitment to my belief that I was going to get better is what created the change for me. I knew I had to get over a very severe illness and when everybody else gave up on me, when I found out some things which I'll share with you in later blog posts that shifted something in me. I became non-stop focused on purpose with what I needed to achieve and that created the results. And I knew it was from my focus that did it. So what I want to give you today is a very simple exercise that you can do. I'm going to use this using a dumbbell because Really, bodybuilding and weightlifting got me back to life, and I'll explain that whole story in subsequent blog posts on my way back up from 125 pounds and how I got to win a bodybuilding contest from that focus and intention. Now, what I do when I go to the gym, and I offer this to you to do it in whatever you choose to do, but it's called being in the moment. Now, you've heard the term before, but there is such power in that because when you're in the moment and focused on just the now, because in reality there is no such thing as past or future, all we have is this present moment. Me with you, looking at me, and that's all we have right now, right here. I'm going to use this with using a dumbbell. And when I get to the gym, I try to do this as much as possible during the entire workout where I stay focused on the moment, meaning I am aware of every action that I do from picking up the dumbbell, putting it in my hand, being aware of my fingers wrapping around the dumbbell, being weight, aware of the weight of it, of the sensation of the smoothness of the dumbbell. And as I start the exercise, I am aware, I am the observer of every movement that I'm doing, every element of the weight of it. I become aware of the sounds around me. I become aware that I am the one observing. You become that perfect observer. Eckhart Tolle talks about this in his book, The Power of Now, that really that's all we have. And when we can stay focused on that moment, we become very, very centered and meditative. So that's your tip of the day, and thank you so much for enjoying my blog posts and your comments, and I so look forward to sharing this journey with you in the hopes that you may overcome anything that's going on in your life right now on whatever level it is. We're all here on the journey together, and it's my purpose to bring you to that sense of awareness that you can overcome anything in your lives. So onward to post five, where we pick up from my coming back to New York and 9-11 happened, so thanks again.